hi friends uh, welcome to my channel so today in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure a ipsec vpn using uh, fqda and string or a domain name so uh, let me show you the scenario so this is my scenario whereas in uh, this is me as a client i will try to connect to the 40 gate firewall on port 2 which is having the public ip 14 140 40 108 and then the 40 gate will forward this traffic uh, using the isp one link which is the primary isp and in this scenario i have two isps on the 40 gate firewall one is uh, linked on the port 2 other one is uh, attached to port 1 so port 2 is secondary isp port 1 is primary isp and all my clients will get connected to the 40 gate firewall on port 2 which is having the public ip and then the 40 gate firewall will forward the traffic out uh, through the port 1 which is again connected to the primary isp so in my scenario instead of ip address which is 14140 i'll be using a domain name or a fully qualified domain name to connect to the 40 gate firewall and you can see here that i have a dns server in my environment um, which is going to receive the request for the domain which in my case is 40.sumit.com and then it will try to do a iterative query to the top level domain and subsequently going to resolve that domain and it is going to give me a response stating that 40.summit.com is at 14140.40.108 so the the client between the client and the dns server you will see the recursive query which means a client will send the query and it will expect the response as in the answer and then from the dns server to the top level root and the subsequent uh, name server it is going to be iterative so the scenario is fairly simple and i have the rdp of my client machine and let me show you the configuration on the 40 gate firewall first so this is my 40 gate firewall and you can see isp1 is on port 1 isp2 is on port 2 port 1 is having 192.168.0.108 port 2 is having 14.140.40.108 all right so let me show you the ipsec configuration it is fairly simple um you can see here um isp2 port 2 is uh, receiving is going to receive all the negotiation request for the ipsec and here in my case i am going to put the ipsec in config mode which will give me the flexibility of providing all the information like what is going to be the ip address of the client I've given the range here and then the subnet mask and DNS I have kept it empty because the client is going to use okay let me try to update this so this is my local DNS server if you have your uh, public dns server then you can put the entry here and i'm going to do the split tunnel tunneling and i'm only going to put the traffic destined for 8.8.8 .8 into the tunnel and nat travel server is enabled with tpd on demand advanced you can see here uh, authentication mechanism appreciate key well uh, my version one it's in main mode and uh, i'm expecting the identification payload to be submit at one two three and the proposal is fairly simple
So if you click here, um, Tefi Hellman Group 485-SHA1-86400. XOAuth, I have a profile, whereas in inside the VPN group, I have a user with username SUMIT. And then I have the phase two, whereas in I don't have any restriction, which this is the encryption domain. And test SHA1 is my proposal. Replay detection is enabled with PFS enabled with group 14 and 43200. So this is the configuration on the 40 gate firewall for the VPN. And after that, I have a policy on the 40 gate firewall, which is this one. Okay. The traffic, incoming traffic will be received by the FQDN VPN tunnel interface, which is the VPN interface. FQDN interface here. Okay, it's fairly simple. Receiving the traffic on FQDN VPN tunnel interface and outgoing interface going to be ISP1 port 1. You can see here. And the destination that I have allowed is a.a.a.h, source any. And I have NAT enabled. If you don't want it, you can disable it. Um, that's it. The configuration is done here. You'll have to check the route. You have a static route pointing to the ISP1. So we are done here on the 40 gate firewall. Let me show you the configuration on the client. Or else let me try to change my screen. I have multiple screens here. Okay. So you can see here FQDN 141040108, which is the interface IP of port 2, 141040108. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can do it statically. And then I'm going to show you how you can do it via the FQDN string. And how did I do that? So you can see here, I'm connected to the firewall and I received the IP address 192.168.0.2. And since this is a split tunnel, so I should have a route injected into my system. You can see here, this is the route that is injected into my system routing table, which is pointing to dot three, which is the tunnel interface. So let's try to verify that. You can see here. The remote gateway information.
So here in my scenario, this is a simple IPsec VPN using the public IP itself, but then there are scenarios where as in the IP address on your public interface might change if you have the interface in DHCP mode so that the interface gets the public IP random in a random manner or based on the availability in the pool. So here in my case, I have a dynamic DNS configured which keeps track of the changing public IP on the port too. So, so I have a dynamic DNS, which is resolving the IP address on the port two. And the string is, uh, like I said, 40.summit.com. And let me show you the desktop. Okay. Let us disconnect this. Okay. So, so you can see here, my DNS server is resolving 40.summit.com to the public IP of the 40 gate firewall, which is 14.140.40.108. And I have the dynamic DNS mapping of my port too. So let's try to alter this. And let's try to put string, let's save it. Put the okay before that let me show you the configuration of my IPsec VPN. This is just the name, this is just description. Remote gateway is the string 40.summit.com. Pre shared key should be matching with that of the configuration that you have on 40 gate. I've clicked on save login. And this is the phase one general VPN settings, version one main mode. Mode config, like I showed you that on the firewall, I have mode config check. So that is the reason why you see that I have checked this particular option. And then this is the proposal desk SHA-1. This is the number two proposal, AS-256, SHA-256, 514, everything is matching. And the local ID for identification purpose, I've given it as submit at 123. And you can check on the firewall as well. So you can see here on the firewall that I've given as peer ID. Submit that one, two, three. And that peer detection is enabled, not travel cell is enabled. Phase two, you can see here encryption desk, SHA-1, 43200, and DH group 40. Let's save this. Let's put the password since I have the XSOT enabled. Let me show you one more time here. So you can see here, XSOT is enabled. I've given the VPN group, which is having a single user defined. So this is done. Let's switch to our RDP session. Okay, let me try to, okay, everything is Good, let me try to connect. So you can see here, I'm able to connect to my VPN and I'm getting the IP address 192.168.0.2. And the username is submit. Let me try to ping. So 
so you can see here I'm able to ping as well to confirm that so it should show me the exit interface IP which is the port 1 IP of the firewall so you can see here it is showing me the 40 gate external port 1 IP let me show you the diagram one more time so you can see here port 1 is having the IP 192.168.0.108 and I am getting that and this is the modem IP 192.168.0.1 for the primary ISP on the 40 gate firewall so that means our traffic is going through the 40 gate firewall and everything is working fine. You can see here the statistics of the send byte and the receive byte. So you can see here uh, the IP address received on the adapter which was installed by the 40 client it is getting the ip address 192.168.0.2 and the dhcp server ip is 192.168.0.3 which is the 40 gate tunnel interface ip which is acting as a dhcp server for the client now so the same thing you can verify on the firewall as well you can see here All right, guys, uh, that's all in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something out of it. Oh, so if you have any question, do leave them in the comment section. I will try to address that. And please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And stay safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.